spoke to you last night with one of the victims uh, of this case, and I have to say, it is just unbelievable, actually, when you hear their stories. Um, you know, these are hard-working people for the justice to be done. Information that was being provided to ministers, ministers' judgments about what they did with that information, just basically all the amount of pressure on them and the accusations being made. As I said, there was a lot of doubling down on these individuals in the decades that have happened since this start, first started as well. Um, I think a series of government ministers, I mean, it, it, it's known that I think there were 11 possible against those who were covering up, but contaminated blood as haemophiliacs and compensation has still not been fully paid, even though the inquiry, which is about to conclude, has recommended just pay the compensation that's necessary. IT as well. Well, right? totally. I mean, you know, IT is it's in all our lives, and how many people, whether it's the benefits system or... Yes. I mean, the woman I spoke to last night, um, Janet, like, postmistress for 12 years, based in Hull, she was. She spent it on, you know. And how suddenly the post office network was suddenly full of people who were cheating them. Mm and not maybe question what we're saying about these individuals yeah. and collectively about... So there's a lot more of this to go. Yeah, yeah. there certainly is. Uh, thanks both uh, very much uh, indeed. And, of course, the post... You know, Conservative MP, what, what would you be voting? I knew you were going to ask this question, so I thought through my answer very okay, carefully. Good. <laughs> the answer, we have some massive issues, and what I would be saying probably as a Labour politician is what are we going to do about some of the other areas we need to attend to? in Africa or in the West more Indies as well. physically to stop them coming Yeah, in absolutely. Place, and which is relationships no, with France and yeah, Belgium. Yeah, and let's not forget, you know, there are also people who come in legally. Okay, Thank you uh, both uh, very much indeed for your <laughs> thoughtful contribution earlier. Well, let's bring in Caroline and Alistair, uh, shall we? Alistair, you've got a lot of experience uh, on the Middle East from your kind of ministerial uh, roles. Um, do you think David Cameron is right there uh, when he talks about how he's unsure whether Israel's broken international law. Do that. I think it's important for Israel, for the future of Israel, that it does get itself observed in just the same way as other states. And this means, in this case, to look at supporting it in the region to deal with the threat, because Hamas is not just a threat to Israel, it is a threat to other Arab countries because of its ideology. But Israel's actions at present... ..very much. Uh, Lord Cameron there, we were just uh, discussing uh, at the Select Committee. Still to come. Uh, Let's see how he delivers. <laughs> in <laughs> politics, you're only as old as you feel. And... and I like so that. That's good. That, I totally agree. <laughs> you know, some of us are still waiting for the call. And, and <laughs> you know, so long as you feel ready and up for it, I, I, I think that's the, uh, that's the thing. You... Oh, oh, God. Uh, which two British Prime Ministers were younger then Gabriel Attle, the new uh, French Prime Minister. Under. Very good. He was just 24. Yeah. That really is young. Um, and this one is really hard, so I think I'm going to give it to you. Uh, Augustus Fitzroy, the third Duke of Grafton, oh, who was yes. 33. Of course. Yeah, I, yeah that guy. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> he, he was still in the house in the smoking room when, when I got there in 1983. Yeah, he was yeah, uh, yeah. in the corner. Yeah, there yeah. you go. There you yeah. go. Um, I feel like I'm getting to the stage now where... Um, I still find it weird where government ministers are older than me, or younger than me, I should say, uh, like uh, Darren. Yeah. Younger than me. Darren but with, with age does come a sort of bit of a collective memory, and I sort of find myself say, 